Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I was feeling, oh, I was feeling quite flat today. Not flat, 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 like on the carpet, but just I got up and I've been really trying to be healthy. And um, let me see which end the that thing is. And <coughs> working out. And being very careful, but my, my small of my back, I don't know how many of you suffer from that, if you sort of pull the tiniest weight, but if you pull slightly bigger weight, um, it just went a bit. So I, I sort of, I'm feeling that I want to do this, you know, and rub my back down and ease out that, um, that little bit of overexertion. But I'm going to be careful. I have got on my face. Good morning, Anna. Good morning. Um, let me get my glasses on and let us go. I've got quite a few new products I'm trying today. I'm going to talk a little bit about The Ordinary today. And I'm going to try and talk about some simple skincare regimes because I think that I talk about so many products um, on the show. And you sometimes say, oh, I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. So I'm going to just really do a very simple a to z i could probably do three or four of these my trousers are from god you always notice things so quickly ladies i'm totally head to toe in me and m today which um i'd like to show you more of hang on there's not much light today but they're floppy and they've got pockets and they've got a wonderful stripe and i'm in a me and m top i'm head to toe but it's i'm going to see my i always see my mum on for lunch on sunday good morning sadie good morning alison let's say good morning to all of you um Marianne, Haley, Emma, Heva, Steph, Marianne, Mia, Anna, Luna, Christine, Jenny, Joanna, Sarah, Alison. Good morning, 5.45 a.m. You mad person. I mean, where are you? Carolyn Manners from Sydney. Hello, Susie. Good morning. Lucy, Beverly, Luke, um, Senya, Josh, Linda, Christina, Alison, Yova, Nancy, Patricia, um, Eileen, loved Sydney, um, Middlesbrough, that's closer to home, Nicola, oh, hang on, what have I done there, Vanessa, oh, did you, everybody, hello, 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 hello. So, I've got, as you know, I always like to start Sunday morning with a mask, and then I'm going to tell you actually last night's body routine, which is, I've got down to a fine art, I'm so determined to not have crepey skin that I am... Every Saturday or Sunday, I do this fanatical body regime. So I brought elements of it here to talk through. Um, I, do I look great? I look great because I've got a red mask on my face, which I've had on for about 20 minutes. But this is three skin. I don't know if I even call it right, but you know, it's that kind of rose gold brightening facial treatment mask. It was £20 in Space NK, one time use. Bloody expensive, not quite as expensive as Nanette de Gaspé, which is my favourite mask of all time. Um, but it's meant to, what's it going to meant to do? Advance absorption of moisture, create a protective barrier. Uh, the hyaluronic mask is combined with 24 karat gold. Whoa. How much of that is there? Damask rose. To extract work in powerful synergy to brighten firm and optimise moisture levels. Now it says have it on for, let me just see how I've had it on for. 20 minutes, well I've had it on for 30 minutes, so that's fine. Um, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, I'll just, I'll have it on for another five. Uh, two things about this mask, it was developed in Harley Street. I'm saying it developed in Harley Street, yes. But it's for a really weird woman's shape because I found it didn't go under my eyes very well and there was all this space around my nose and that's where I feel, I feel I need a lot of help. When people do masks, I really feel they need to do a lot to go over here because that's like, you know, any of us who feel we're over the age of 30 and we begin to see the first signs of aging, around here I age, under my eyes I age a bit but I have done Botox for years under there. Um, and then it see, and then it fits a bit weirdly here. So I, I'm not sure about the shape of the mask. But I'm, actually, I'm going to take it off now. Does it come off easily? I don't think it's a two-time usage. I'm going to put it in the bin. Um, yeah, let me feel. Well, it's the kind of mask I know already that is going to firm your skin. You know, you're gonna you're gonna smile and think. Mm. But I did a huge regime on my skin last night and. Putting this on today, I think it's penetrated incredibly well. Okay, so my body routine. You love to get down to it, ladies. I, 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 I want to show you bits. 
Let me just try and put on a towel because I just I just want to show you what I was doing. Oh my God, we got the we got the coat. We, it's so funny. We have DIY here. This is our coat stand. Everyone's putting their coats on the shutters and breaking them. But we we had three legs to it. Now it has four. I'm very excited. I, I only just noticed. So that's good. good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, I'm just changing for a second to show you this because it's kind of important that I show you what I was doing with a bit of movement. So, all right. Take off my lovely top. There. Now, there's different places we age and our body ages in different ways. So what's important for me and when I dress women, one thing I really notice is women who, some, there are some women who really take care of their face and don't take care of their neck and they take care of their chest. And what that means is that whenever they wear a top, which might be sort of this shape, the disparity between their face looking well, their neck sagging and an okay decollete makes them look older. So making your face look great has a lot to do with the shape of the collar you wear. Um, be careful with the tower, there's a mirror behind you. Oh my God, thank you. Yes, that's very kind of you. Did anyone see anything? I hope not. Um, any of those masks are terrible for men. Um, they are, all, I mean, also, tools one if you have a beard, it doesn't stick. So irritating. I think they should develop a man's mask. Wouldn't that be a good idea? Um, I, but I tell you the other thing you could do is there's something called scissors, Luke, <laughs> and just cut around, put it on, cut around the bits if we're gonna get stuck and focus on the skin that's there. Um, that's what I would suggest, but I, I appreciate it's, you know, there's a few really good men's ranges, but that is quite irritating. All right, so um, thank you for the, the, did I try Le Mer Caviar Cream? Um, I've tried Creme de La Mer, but not a caviar cream because La Prairie have a caviar cream, but Creme de La Mer have their Miracle Broth. So I, I, it might be a new product. I don't get new products very quickly because I never like to get sent things. So just so you know, I'm not a normal in that way. I go and buy stuff. So um, I'm on a budget this month. It's a January budget. So I'm going to go through a few things that I like that I feel don't cost a fortune. Um, and I want to do that. Good morning, Vicky. Good morning, Lauren. Good morning, Nicola. Best neck treatment, Loretto. Good morning, Helen. Luke, I need my beard. You wouldn't say that if you saw my puffy face. Oh, darling. You know, lymphatic drainage, Luke. Consider that, really. Um, morning from Melbourne. Um, yes, tell us more about good neck treatments. All right, good order. Okay, so there are a few things that I am actually trying for the neck, and I was going to see if I brought, um, brought them upstairs. But I'm trying Dr. Dennis Gross's treatment for the neck because I've been trying his, God, did I bring it upstairs? Yes, I've been trying this. I haven't used Dr. Dennis Gross forever. And I've been trying the um, Fluoric and Retinol Anti-Age Moisturizer, which I'm absolutely loving, I have to say. But he does a neck elasticizer. And then I'm also trying Neostrata's, um, has a neck product. And somebody told me it was good. It could have been Nadine Baggett. Anyway, I got it. So, so that, um, you know, I have felt for a, a while that eye creams and neck creams were a waste of time. <coughs> because I just thought, whatever you've got on your face, put on your neck. That's, that's my honest belief. And to buy something different, there's no point. It's like a bust cream. There's a range of that came out just for the bust and decollete. And so maybe they have, in fact, experienced some new technology specific for bust tissue. I don't know, but I don't have a huge bust. So for me, it's just more about how do I keep this neck firm? And I do three or four different things. Basic things, and for those of you who've seen it before, I apologize. I do um, a kind of um, technique of, of um, not, um, ex yes, there are exercises for the, for the face. And they were taught to me when I was about 20. Um, and it's that really simple vow system, which gives your neck a workout. So if you imagine we work out every other part of our body, I hope in January we're all going for it. And I do feel I'm getting more toned. So, A-E-I. I-O-U-A. 
e e you see that what's happening with the muscle there e there's a there's a there's a muscle that any facelift doctor would tell you um dr Seabag tells me that goes from e here all the way up hold your bloody face up so also makes your neck firm and you need to exercise that muscle and you know i i'm very animated in how i talk and i have a very long neck but I'm aware that there's certain things I do that would just, you know, like I watch telly in bed like this. Uh, so when I watch telly in bed, I sort of just remember I've got a long neck. I don't kind of push it back and sit down again. But if I do that a lot every day, I need to then during the day, I need to be pulling it out, pulling it out. And you know, there's all the, excuse me, my thing's going to come down. You know, there's all the, um, when you're doing workouts, you can kind of do this you know, with your, with your neck and then pull it to the side. These are also very good, not just for getting rid of the tension in your neck, but also for keeping the firmness on your neck. So that's the first thing, actual movement of your face to bring the muscles of your neck working. That's important. The second thing I have to say, what I'm doing, and you have to decide what you do for self I'm going to show you two different methods of this one second. Let me just get my other toolbox. My other toolbox. So, last night, this is what I did. I had a micro needling orgy. I really did. I started off with my neck and I took a little very old um, micro needle, not very old, but in terms of it's uh, the oldest friend of micro needlers I have. I got it on Amazon, it's for 11 pounds. It's got a number of barrels going round. It hasn't got a great density of barrels because micro needling is as much about the density of the number of needles on the barrel as it is about the length of the needle and what the needle is made from. So you kind of want, want it made, most of them made from titanium. But on my neck, the first thing I do is have a good old clean, good old scrub, and then I go and I prepare the skin like this. Prepare the skin and I'll go up and down, and then I'll go left to right. And then I'll do areas where I feel that, like here, I, I kind of think, even though that skin is softer and this is the skin that gets um, thinner, I want to kind of take the area which connects the two and strengthen that as well. So I'm doing that, going round. So I'll do that for two or three minutes, at the same time for a few butt clenches. And then I will take, Oh, I hope I have it here. I hope I have it here. I will take my Julia Hunter peel. Now you could do any peel for this. One second, I'm just going to, excuse me. Oh. You could, for example, take the Ordinary's peel. Let's just start with that because I was going to talk about this product anyway. Um, the Ordinary do quite a few different peels. Um, and I think AHA, 30% BHA, 2%. This peel here is a good peel. It's a 10 minute peel. It's got alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic, lactic, tartic, citric. Those aren't bad. And beta hydroxyl acid, which is salicylic acid. So um, it is quite a strong, oh, sorry, it's not. It is quite a strong peel. But what's also important is that this, there has some few things in it, Tasmanian, peppery, pepperberry or something, which will reduce inflammation. So I am actually, um, thank you very much. There's something quite new and really awesome for the neck and face. It's called HIFU. Afterwards, I will read everything um, up. So I'll take that. I've done this um, before on the hands, but I'm just gonna show you. And I'm gonna put that on the neck. So I've done, this is really, this is for those of you, all right, who have, not got a sensitive skin and are really desperate to think of things to your neck. So I don't want anyone who's never done a peel to go out and buy this product, just wham it on after they've done needling. By the way, at the same time, I'm gonna do my hands at the same time. Never forget your hands. So micro needling your hands. I'm showing you now a little bit of what I did last night and then I'll show you what I did on my body. So. You can needle before and after. I do quite a intense regime. I'm kind of doing a regime for you. It's not the same roller I used on my face, ladies. I'm going to, hmm. what roller is this? Hang on. This is a new roller. Oh, this is the Swiss. Oh, let me see what this roller is. Oh, this could be the really bad roller from, um, sorry. 
sorry. There's a there's a micro dermal, dermal roller from. Um, Oh, this is all right. This is, yeah, this is all right. So can you see, I have done this needling on my hands. I got a tiny little be bleeding. You might not like that. This is a Sunday morning ritual, ladies. If you have a little bit of bleeding, I don't mind a bit of bleeding. It's a little piercing. My skin is very thin on my hands. This is not um, something for wussies. So I probably was a bit aggressive just now. So I'll go like that. This is probably a 0 0.3 needle I'm doing on my hands now. Sorry, you can't see like that. Um, then, if I'm really feeling it, I will put another layer. This is only now for those mad people like me. I'll put another layer of this on, like that, there. Next going red, but that is the product, ladies. And I will feel it tingle. Um, I'm just gonna wash this off because it does, although it doesn't stain, I feel the bottom of my hands have become a little bit red. No, let me just take your question. Sorry, I'm going mad here. Do I end up with scabs? No, I do not. This is incredibly superficial look. There, it's just a bit red. Um, it's very, very superficial. Um, very superficial. So, how long is the needle I used on the neck? 0 0.5 on the neck. Um, am I barefooted? No, I'm not. I'm tall. Um, I can't over exfoliate or keep some of my products too much. Of course, sensitivity. Beverly? Do, you know, if you have sensitive skin, this is a very strong routine. I do not suggest it. For those of you who want to do really sensitive routine, you can consider a very mild exfoliation. So you could leave on the 10 minute peel for two or three minutes, build it up slowly. But what I want to do is I want to really retexturize my skin because the skin on your face is different from the skin on your neck. It has, and also I many years ago did some kind of, I did some kind of laser on my neck, or I can't remember what happened. I, I have done different things on my face. And my, my skin separated a tiny bit. So I have quite a little, quite a damaged neck, and I'm overactive with trying to heal it. It's many, many years ago I did this treatment and it separated, but it's just the skin on it is just, it's not as smooth as it could be. So all these kind of peels do help me to even out that and um and get the smoothness back now going on to the body this is for diehards not for everybody all right but you could take a peel i you could take the 10 minute peel you could put that on your body frankly um but i use julia hunter's peel this is one which is the other end of the scale it's 230 dollars but it is for the face but it's also for the body so what i tend to do is i take some drops of it like that very sparingly do I use it, and I rub it on my arm. I've done a bit of that um, rolling with the, I'm using at the moment, the Swiss Clinic Roller 0 0.5, quite a big, um, uh, quite a big width to this, so it's easier. There are some body rollers that are bigger and stronger, or bigger and less needles, but be quite gentle and focus on areas where you really feel there's a bit of flabby skin, like here, there. That little bit, you know, we get around when we put on lovely evening dresses and we think, oh, that kind of little bit coming there. And it comes at all different ages. Many women who carry weight on the top half of their body will get that earlier because that's, you know, you just carry weight here and luckily, you know, you have a wonderful cleavage, but you'll have that um, crepey skin there a little bit earlier. Um, I'm sorry, my towel is falling down. <laughs> One second. <laughs> One second. And then, if you're bottom heavy like me, it's just keeping the texture because I did you know, my weight has generally been consistent, but in the last couple of years, I probably put on a bit of weight, which now I've maybe lost two or three pounds. And that's a very bad time when you're in your 50s and the skin can start to sag and you really want to keep that tone. So I'm doing it quite a lot like that, there. And I would be doing the other side. I have done this last night, so I'm doing this to show you. And then at the end, you know, I had this cream, this body lotion, which, um, I got from South Africa. I don't know if I have any more here. Um, I don't. But I'm going to use one I found that's quite similar, which is um, Amelioreate. 
So it actually is for similar thing, dry, rough, dehydrated skin, ingrown hair. It's a really intense um, body cream. You could also look for a vitamin A body cream, uh, but I then put that on. And this one smells fine. Just bung it on like that. And when I put it on, oh, sorry ladies, I'm having real problems with my towel. When I put it on, I do do this massage technique because you need, you need the um, fluidity of a cream to do this. If you've used the um, peel from The Ordinary, take it off. Um, and then if you've used the one from someone like Julie Hunter, keep it on. So I put my, um, I just rub it in gently. And did I tell you I'm doing this thing called remodelage, which is this new treatment to break down your lymphatic you know, all your lymphatic blockage. And I've been having it twice a week with this man, Julian French. So kind of, you know, very, very good. His mother invented this technique of pinching your bloody skin. So it's so painful, but allowing your lymphatic to work again. And my lymphatic has been very blocked. I have very blocked legs. And he works on it, works on my stomach as well, which I never used to have to work on. But it is an amazing treatment. But it reminds me that I like a good pinch. And when I do my arms, I've shown you this before, but you know, get the blood flowing, pinch like that, and then rub. And I really rub into the, into the you know, when you're training out and you want to develop that slight curve, I rub into that curve like that. And just get the blood flowing. I mean, I'll do this. It's in itself, it's a bit of a workout. I did it last night for 10 minutes and I thought I'd be to the gym. But you're just stimulating everything. I don't know if years ago you watched it on telly. Uh, the, the, I did this show called um, Strini Susanna, what they did next. And in it, there was this guy, Julio, who slapped my bottom in the show. And he was the man who had done my cellulite treatments for years. But um, he did this kind of technique as well. But what happens with our skin is it stops having movement. You know, if you look at why you get old, there's many different reasons I mean, why, why, you, why our skin gets older. It's all the free radicals, it's eating, you know, lots of greasy food, it's smoking, it's sun damage, it's keeping our body hydrated, it's keeping the external dermis hydrated, it's moving the lymphatic system. It's not allowing things to be sluggish because when we allow our body to be sluggish, our skin gets sluggish and our skin so reflects the condition of our body inside. So if you're somebody who, you know, has flaky legs and dry patches here, really think what can you be doing that you can be taking as a supplement and, and massaging in your face and things to really get that, to get that movement in your body again. Because this, if you do this ladies for a week, you will really notice a difference in your arms. You'll notice a difference in the texture and in the tone. And it's just a very different thing from actually exercising. Um, but it's so important to do. And I probably get to do it probably once a week, but occasionally twice a week. And then I do this thing where I really I pull down there. You see, because this is our bat wing. This is our bat wing hell. And if you see, when I'm pulling it down, you see how tired I'm getting. But you can just see the texture there and where the blood is flowing. Like that. Always go down towards the heart. So up towards the heart, down towards the heart. Don't go away from the heart. Push it all towards the heart. But that stimulation, and then you can end up with a bit of slapping. Slap, 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 slap. There we go, okay. I've shown you enough. But it's something to consider, ladies, because I know that we sometimes don't even have time to clean our face properly. But if something, when you look in the mirror, bugs you and you just think, oh, I'm resigned. You can either say, oh, I'm resigned, this is it. This is how my body is aging. Or you can say, hang on a minute, I'm going to challenge that. And that's what I do, I just challenge where my body wants to head, <laughs> naturally. Um, and I do things to, to uh, stimulate it and, and to change its direction somewhat or slow the process down. Um, because I want to feel that I have a, a healthy, toned, fit body. That's just me. Um, and we have so, I have so little time. I have so little time in my life to do stuff. My, my day, I wake up at 6.30 and my day doesn't end till sort of 7.38, my working day, and then I've got my family. 
you know, as well. So there is a lot to juggle, but it's, it's kind of, you know, January is a really good month to say to yourself, how much do I want to invest in me? Because if I feel good inside my body with what I'm putting in my, my body, which what, what I'm applying to my physical body with what I'm putting on my face, um, then I catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror as I'm running around my day. I think it's okay. That's all right. She's all right. And that's what we want. You know, I, I don't want to catch sight of myself and think, think, God, she looks so bloody tired. She needs to go to bed. Um, so that's kind of how my... Um, a session with with wanting to be my best comes from um, and also I know this sounds terrible but I'm just going to say it <clears throat> my mum who naturally <clears throat> naturally has had incredibly good bone structure and um, <clears throat> a beautiful face never ever has taken care of herself she's never put that as a priority and her body now, she's very old, my mum, but her body I see doesn't work for her anymore. And I find that upsetting. You know, she's happy. She's very happy in herself, my mother. But I just think I, that's not what I want for that age. I want to be incredibly active. I want to be able to climb the mountain in my 80s. Um, and so, you know, I, I also, my mother never put a cream on in her life until I bought them for her, really. She never had a regime because she had a Scottish mother who never ever taught her anything, who was a very unvain woman. And she gave that to her daughter too. My mother is the most, sort of one of the most unvain women I know. Um, but I'm not saying that's a brilliant thing because I just, I kind of like a bit of vanity. Anyway, let me go on to new products because I'm just like, I can just faff. Dermal Roller you can get on Amazon. Do I recommend a Dermal Roller brand? I like Swiss Clinic and I know there's two people bringing out new ones. On Monday, I'm getting a lady to show me her roller, um, which she's bringing out, which I'm very excited by because it's made by a really good German company. So there's quite a few people doing it. I know, um, yes, there's two or three women I really recommend. I really respect and beauty industry bringing them out. So hold this space and that's something where I will be ahead of the game because they know I all love rollers, so they tell me about them. Vitamins, not on topic, I know. Darling, um, I'd say with vitamins, actually I didn't take that rest of all off my neck, um, that I did yesterday, last Sunday, a big vitamin story, but I actually afterwards, I thought to myself, I know what I take, but I think all you ladies would like something that, um, you see how that, I forgot to take that off 10 minutes later, um, that will be a really uh, succinct, list of what you should take for what. So after I did that post, I called up Jill at Victoria Health and, and she's the lady who started Victoria Health with, um, with her partner. Um, and I said, could he come along? Because this is the king of vitamins and he knows everything there is to know about supplements. So she said, yes, I definitely cannot be on the screen because I am screamophobic, but um, he will be on screen with you and I'll come support him and I'll have my legs in the bath. So that's what I think we're gonna do. Uh, I think there's no, if any of you have ever been on Victoria Health or get her newsletter, subscribe now because she, uh, the, the two of them together, there's, n there's nobody who knows more, more about vitamins. Brilliant. And there's fantastic ones in her, in her January newsletter. So I'm, I'm literally gonna order every single one in. But last Sunday I spoke a bit about them and I'll speak about them again. God, I have such long-winded answers. The red on Trini's neck is coming off that product that's fairly pink. Yes, once it was off, there's no redness. So you see, I rinsed it off, no redness there. Now, after that peel, I would probably try the Neostrata neck one and the Dennis Gross. I put them both on together. One is a retinol-based product. Um, <clears throat> and the other, I don't know, it's a neck elasticizer of some kind. But I don't know, I do think my neck... I do think my neck is slightly better. Just so you know, I've got two marks on my neck. This one actually is not damaged. That's, um, I had my C3 and 4 replaced, so that's from an operation. Very good scar, because I think when I get, you know, more lines here, it's just gonna go gently in it. Um, okay, ladies, sorry. No, I just got so carried away. Under eye cream, I think about Charlotte Tilbury Youth Glow. Charlotte Tilbury Youth Glow, I have here. I'll show you. Um, I'll show you. I, I'm not sure what I think. Actually, I'm going to first of all put on, because I've got to say how much I love it, this. You know how much I like CE Philuric 
from um, SkinCeuticals. Phaluric is an, an amazing um, product. And uh, the other people who have Phaluric actually are, are um, I'm gonna show you two different things here, but they, they have similar ingredients. Because if we're talking about basic skincare routine, cleansing, whichever way you like to do, cream, oil, oil to foam, foam to oil, I do at the moment um, Mami, De Mamiel cleansing balm, and then I do Neostrata um, gel cleanser. I do two. After that, I do a little spray of some kind, a little spritz, um, and then I do a vitamin C, skin suticals, and then I do a nice antioxidant serum and a moisturizer. So it's quite long, it's six steps. If you wanna be really clean, you can do a cleanser, a serum, and a moisturizer. If you've got really oily skin, you could do a cleanser and a serum. So it just depends how many ingredients you want to put into your skincare regime. And if I had to think of the sort of important ingredients to consider at different age groups, I would say anyone in their 20s and early 30s should start considering vitamin C because vitamin C is all about brightening your skin and it's about um, any uneven skin patches. If you've had a baby and you have a bit of melasma, it will, um, it will hopefully reduce it because that's a light pigmentation you've got from hormonal um, uh, distortion on your skin. But um, when you get into your 40s, I think retinols are good. There's many women in their 20s using retinols, and I'm thinking that's too early to me because I don't think many people have the need for retinols in their 20s, but that's my personal opinion. Um, and then there's many other things too. Phaluric is a... <coughs> It's a very strong antioxidant and it's found in the walls of plants. It comes in many different formats. Um, but Dr. Dennis Gross has used it with some retinol, which is quite unusual. And um, the ordinary use for Luric, I've got it here somewhere. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Here. Reservatol and Phaluric. That's a really nice stay serum. I guess I put it that way. Um, and the combination, the <laughs> Reservatol. It's a phenol, and a phenol is just something that is going to give you a kind of just. Anyway, I'm going to put it in. I'm going to show you. So, if you want, if you are looking for a nice serum, and you can't afford skin suticals, this has a really good feel to it. It's an oil-based serum, but it could be a nice, simple serum for somebody to start with because I like these two ingredients a lot. From the ordinary, it's probably about eight pounds. Goes in nicely. And got 3% for Luric, which is quite low, but you know, nice product to use. Over it, I'm just gonna do a double whammy because I'm gonna put the Dennis Gross because I, I love it. I'm gonna use it for a month. I've only had it for two days, but I'm enjoying the texture very much okay now you want to know about charlotte tilbury's glow products i'm going to try that for you uh because i saw it myself and i thought um okay interesting um is it time to wash your neck stuff off they're so sweet one of you um loads of places now my showcase boots i think i've had it now you need one of those towels that belcher on i do i bought the retinol from chemistry and you love it that's great i did the same Catherine walker um, Trini, what needle do you recommend for my daughter bought me one for Xmas called ZGTS at 0 0.1? Um, I think 0 0.1 sounds really low because I use 0 0.5, which is higher. Um, I don't actually use it under my eye. I probably go like that and like that. That's the close I'll get to. And I'll be very, very gentle there. But where I will use it, interestingly, stronger is over my eye like that because this skin I talked about last week I feel does tend to age and I think we can pay a lot of attention to our forehead and under our eye but not necessarily to over our eye and if I look at lots of ladies in their 50s and 60s um, that's the bit of the skin that I think hasn't had much attention so that's what I tend to do a little bit like that a um, little bit of redness. If you have a tendency to a red skin, go gently with it. But keep that stimulated, that skin. Okay, um, there we are. 
Hope that after the makeup range, you will do skincare range. I am, watch this space. Body brushing, I love. I do body brushing every morning as well. When I remember, actually, not every morning. Can I just say, I really like that mask. I think that combination last night of my doing the rolling with the, with the peel, and then I put on, what did I put on top of all of that? I put, I put, um, I put Neostrata's retinol as well. But I think my skin today, is it just my imagination? No, I think my skin today is good. It's having a good day. Um, so I do think once a week, really go for it. Would I roll right under my chin and use the peel right under your chin? I noticed you didn't, but I won't, it's because you're rushing. It's because I'm rushing, definitely here. I mean, I have a relatively okay chin, um, but if you're gonna do it, yes, because lots of ladies also carry a bit of something there and that skin can get lax. So, so you want to remember you're doing this to tighten your skin as well. And whatever product you put on is gonna help. So I would definitely focus under there and underneath that jawline too. Yes, thank you, darling. Thank you, I was in a rush. You're, you all know me so well. Um, is your old website still running? I want to watch some old videos. Darling Jacqueline, go on to Trini London and you'll see in the navigation on a mobile, tea time. Also, we have it in a, um, in a carousel and you click on that and that will take you to all, not all of my old blogs, but the ones I think were the best ones where the products are still relevant. So it won't show you my Zara shop ups from, you know, last summer, because that'd be incredibly frustrating for all of us. Um, but it will show you most of my skincare ones and all of my Secret 7, so you can get it there. And also now on Facebook, they've, categorized because they've changed my channel a bit and they've categorized things like like ones on YouTube. So I think you might be able to find them there easier too. Um, have a look. Delmarose, I've sort of, I think I've explained. Um, gels and chin, yes, I went into that. Um, Joe, fairly hello. Love your empowering words, thank you. Um, I think that's what I look like at my nan. Trini, my chin area is getting fluffier with some wiry whiskers. Do you recommend threading the whole area? Do I minimize a little spot? Okay, I thread. Because I have, I'll tell you my, my little, my little beard secrets. I have under here, and my daughter the other day, you know when your child, whatever age it might be, lies under you and you're watching television, she looks up and she goes, you've got six black hairs popping out your bottom of your chin and they're ones that are under here. And I always think they're hidden away. And I never like to pluck them because I like to get them threaded. But if they're dark, you could still use that old fashioned thing, electrolysis and that will help. I actually have quite a lot of facial hair here. When you take biotin, which I take for my um, hair, you can cause more. So I do actually thread with my lovely Nisha, who's um, in Moscow Road. I left her phone number on my Instagram the other day. She's brilliant and not expensive. Um, I thread here every couple of months and then I thread those naughty ones a little bit more often because what I don't like is my man, if you <laughs> Come on, or somebody's come, I go, hello, and I go, oh my God. And I'm getting red with embarrassment now. Um, good morning, good morning. My mother's saying Scottish as well, I know. David Furnish, hello, darling. Amy, I have a flawless epitaph, pocket size, great fat, fluffy buffet. My mum always used soap and water followed by all of you, lady. she's beautiful, she's seven, six. Vicky, I know, it's like, is it all about the genes? It is all about the genes. It's also about our love for the person because we see them in this fuzziness because they have an intimate relationship with us. So it's a mixture. Um, I definitely didn't inherit my mother's genes in that regard. I've had to have help elsewhere. Um, anyway, you need to do a program, that's, that's very sweet to you. I just bought medium BFF as I have a wee bit of a tan. BFF light wasn't quite right. As my tan fades, I'll mix them. Love the products, see a difference in my skin, thank you. That's, that's great, and I do exactly. Oh, sorry, that was somebody I meant to have lunch with. Um, well, I am having lunch with. Do I put vitamin C before or after retinols by the ordinary? I would say that I don't always mix them. So if I'm doing vitamin C, I usually do it in the morning. And if I'm doing retinol, I usually do it at night. So um, the only unusual difference to that is there's one vitamin C I use at night, which is DCL um, C Night Booster. I should put that on last night again after a while. It really is a good product. Um, and then I wouldn't probably use a retinol with it. Some people can. I think my skin could probably take it. And I think in the past I've probably done it, but I don't do it on a regular basis. Um, but people have different ideas on that. Um, 
you're on the phone to your mum, Maria, hello. Um, always been good, thank you very much. Um, can you recommend good spritz? I've used Dr. Hauschka, but keen to try something else. A good spritz? Luke, I will recommend you a good spritz. I have got quite a few I like. A Dr. Hauschka's very nice. Um, what I do, I'll tell you one that's really lovely. I know I'm gonna get my bathroom. I will come back to that, um, Charlotte Tilbury. Is um, this, RMK, it's a, it's a skin treatment. So it's not a spritz. It's more of a, it's, it's, imagine a floral water and a serum had a baby, that's what you'll get. The smell of roses is, it's like you're in an English garden in the summer at a stately home. That's how gorgeous the smell of roses is, Luke. But otherwise, um, I've got lots of ones I like. Um, and you want one, I'll tell you one I love, actually. If you want to stay organic, is Trilogy's Hydrating Miss Toner. That too uses, I think, rose... Rose Otto in it, not Rose Damas. Geranium and Lavender, it's a beautiful one. You can get that in Whole Foods. And I don't know if you can get it in Boots Trilogy now. Um, New Zealand brand, it's really good. A very unusual one, but it's quite difficult to get hold of, and I'm just gonna give it to you, Luke, is um, Face Relaxing Water from Santa Maria Novella, which is the Italian pharmacy I love. And similarly to the um the other one it's sort of you it you can't spritz it you have to like put it in your hand and and put it on like that but it's got this fantastic san Rio novella has the best smells of anything you go inside this store there's two in london one in walton street and one in piccadilly and they just have the most old-fashioned ingredients it's an old florentine pharmacy but if you wanted something unusual in your bathroom it's great um and i'll give you a last one which is Oh, you know what? No, no, I won't give you that one. Um, Tata Harper, the floral hydrating essence, a bit more pricey. Everything there is quite pricey, but great product. So there we go, there we go, there we go. Best for brightening the skin, which retinol do I recommend? Many different ones. If you want to start on retinols and you haven't begun, then there are two from The Ordinary, which I was going to talk to you about today. One second. Hang on. Here, okay. It's very complicated retinols because there's many, and I would really honestly listen to Caroline Hirons to Hirons to get a sense of a a, 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 a comprehensive understanding because there's retinol, there's vitamin A, there's retinol palmitate, um, and they all do different things and they all have different strengths. But the ordinary do about six different retinols, and if you wanted an intro to retinol, it's not a bad place to start price wise. And sometimes the one that have what you think is the highest percentage and not the highest percentage. So for example, gran, gran active retinoid 5% in squalene is actually one of their lowest ones. Can I put it in the middle? Um, because it actually just is in a soluble which dilutes what it is. Whereas the advanced retinol 2%, is also not that strong and it has um, a solution which helps from preventing irritation. There is a retinol 1% which is actually a higher dose retinol in their range. So if you're looking for starting, that's where you could go. Um, otherwise, um, I'd go to Caroline and I'm going to do stuff. I use all simple products, you're amazing, E45 and Aveeno. You know what, Norma, I love the fact your skincare regime is so simple and Celebrate it, yes, celebrate it. I love your nice beautiful makeup, thank you very much. Uh, Cylinder Drops, just want to ask, do you know about this supplement for hair and skin? I don't know, I will look into it. I think what we can do, let's get this man in. Would you like me to get this man in, this expert, in all the supplements, see if he can do next Sunday, get him in front of us, knowing that this man has 40 years experience in what supplements to take and what to take with what, because I inhale supplements. I take like 20 different ones over a morning and an evening. And I kind of think, I'm just, I'm just intuitively finding my way, but also I do read a lot about it. I think this man would be really good. I could bring all the stuff I'm taking to him. He could say, actually, that goes with that, but you can't do that. Should we do it? Yes, we'll do it. I will get him on for next Sunday. Um, thank you very much. Um, you're looking better with my nice makeup. Have you heard any reviews about the Foreo UFO? No, I have not. I've just got the Foreo, the normal one. I don't know if you call it the UFO. I use it every morning to clean my face. I love it. It's my favorite thing in the entire world. 
Um, when I roll on my face, my skin prickles during the day and feels really irritated. Is it too much or just climatizing your skin? Um, I think you might be rolling a bit too much. Um, and I wouldn't roll during the day. I'd roll at night. I think you roll on my face. Yeah, I, I definitely roll at night, put something on. And by the way, at the end of that whole regime, I do put on also an oil. So at night, that's a, that's a lot of products. Um, my brand is Me and M, the shirt. Can you show the Philotech cream again? I couldn't see it on screen. I will list everything later. Super facialist product. I love Una Brennan has an amazing, my favorite super facialist product, if I still have it. Oh, you see, I'm going off now to another room. Hold on. Absolutely bloody loving her scrub. It's so good. This is one of the best boot scrub products I know in terms that it's sold in boots and it's not an expensive price. Quite rough exfoliator, fantastic. She also has got a whole anti-aging Neroli range, of serums and stuff. I didn't like the serum, I'm still trying the cream. Um, thank you. Perfect way to start an AM run, I use the seven favorite. I just want to go say electrolysis, permanent hair removal, and great for chin area still. Thank you very much. Um, you're saying thank you very much. Okay, in fairness to all the women on here, can you tell us what you have done by a plastic cosmetic surgeon? Okay, I'll tell you what I've got. I have got here um, re um, Botox that I've done since I was 35, and I have PRP, which is plasma replacement therapy. Um, and what that entails is taking your blood and um, taking the uh, I get it done, Dr. Diana at Seabags. She takes out my blood, she spins it in this centrifugic machine. So the plasma is left on top and she injects the plasma. I had it done about three weeks ago. And when I have it done, sometimes this will seem a bit more and it will just die down. Um, and I have had 20 years ago, I had a CO2 laser because I had very bad acne I've shared with everyone. Um, and from 13 to 30, and at 35, uh, because I had bad pitting here, I did a CO2 laser, very tough laser. It has two weeks downtime. I don't know if I would still recommend it to people. I think there are more modern things you can try. I occasionally have Fraxel, probably once or twice a year. That's about it, okay. All right, girls. Um, when using roller, what do you put my onto my skin to do? I think I went through that, thank you. I'm just about to head in the city. I need dry face moisturizer to help my dehydration, dry pregnancy skin. Maybe you need to do a little bit of a lovely facial oil, you know? Sometimes I think when you're pregnant, an oil is wonderful, Vintner's Daughter's Beautiful. Um, just some facial massage and oils, you know? That's, that's what I'd say, and I hope you're drinking lots of fluids. I'm sure you are. Um, but uh, it's about the UV exposure, that's the only thing that ages you, and genetics. Buy all the creams you want that don't work unless you cover or wear sunscreen. Paula, I do think it's definitely about wearing sunscreen. But I also know that if I look at women <clears throat> who I've grown up with and I see what they've used on their skin and what other people use on their skin, it's also about what you'll put on your skin and how you apply it and the massaging you put into your face and the stimulation you give your skin. It's all those things together, but I definitely agree, sunscreen is the most important one. I'm gonna show you Brightening Youth Glow Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna do one side of my face with it and then I'm gonna actually do my stuff. So this is, gives a little glow, there we go. Um, and smells nice. It's not a it's not a skincare product. It just um, gives a glow. So if you want a glow for your skin, I think it gives a glow. And um, it depends on your skin type. But that's it. That's the product. Um, I did get it last week because I thought, my God, she called it Use Glow, and weirdly, that's what I was going to call BFF. And, um, and then I didn't. So I, I suddenly thought to myself, oh my God, has she brought out my product? But, um, but anyway, she hasn't. Um, so oh, on PFF, which also gives you a glow. Sorry, this sounds so funny to put it like that, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put it on the other side. I'll PFF. Um, oh, I'm embarrassed now I did that. Um, but anyway, uh, my skin is actually looking really nice today and I'm just putting this on because I do wear SPF every day and after what Paula said, it's incredibly true, is we do need to, whatever country we're living in, we need to, whatever the temperature is, whatever, however strong you think the sun is, I would say wear, BF, wear on SPF every day. I really would, I really would. Okay, there, doing that, little clean, a little glow and a little coverage with us. 
a little glare and a little coverage there we go okay all right now what am i doing next because i'm nearly done and i know the lovely man i'm going to take to see my mum for lunch is probably going to try and call me in a second so my um my makeup routine right now. oh my god have i left it downstairs that would be so stupid of me that would be immensely stupid of me immensely stupid i'm gonna do a little brow i'm very into having my brows a bit stronger at the moment so i'm just uh i'm just like like having them quite dark i'm using still castor oil on my eyebrows and eyelashes I've had no lashes on now for <clears throat> um, for three weeks and I've been using the castor oil every night. I put it on, I get an old eye brush, I get an old, old eyelash, sorry, an old Talika eyelash conditioning gel and I just do that with it. Um, and I'm really, really noticing it. I've got to hang here to show you, hang on. Hang on a jiggy wiggy, hang on a jiggy wiggy. So I take the old brush or something like that and then I do... I also put this on too, the Tolika eyelash conditioning gel, because if you wear mascara all day and you don't want your eyelashes to fall out, which they will if you don't take your mascara off properly, then really put something conditioning on them at night. I cannot recommend it more. So for today, for today, I'm going to do a little bit of, what am I going to do a little bit of? A little bit of, are there any other questions? Sorry, ladies. I'm just sort of, you're probably all gone now. I'm just like, I'm a waffly waffly. Yes, um, I will put everything on the blog later. Retinol, I've just said that. You're very crepey eyelids. Um, and uh, not very good for this. I hate the look of powder. Eyeshadow, since I've got old, I'm 60 soon. Darling, my eyeshadow would work. Let me just show you. Let me just do that for you now. And I'll do a really simple one. I'll do Magician today, actually. Because if you use a cream base you don't want something that's going to get caught in the creases and I have medium skin there but do you see the consistency of how it goes on how easy it is to apply um, and to build up put it on with your finger blended in it's so different from wearing a um, eye shadow powder because nothing's going to drop on your lower lid. You're going to get a nice colour like that. And, um, and it won't crease. Go and read the reviews. But I would say any age, it's great. Um, uh, yes, please, supplements are must be. I will do that. I got a roll. It's not for your point. I use it once very light. I'm worried it's a bit too much. I found it a bit sore. Only use it once a week, darling. Don't get carried away. I think things like this, we need to start gently. And we need to see how we go. And we don't need to, to go mad with our face. So that's that's what I'd say, yes. Okay, sorry, I'm just, um, I'm waffling now because I'm trying to find things to put on my face. Um, and I actually, you know what I'm going to do if I can find it? It's very naughty of me, but I'm just going to put on something that we're going to bring out soon, 14th of February. Hmm. Life is about a lip. Mm. Hey, you want a color to change your mood? That's the one. That's the one. Um, it's called Valentina at the out on the 14th of February, but I like to tell you things first, ladies. Mm. Oh, there we go. Okay, I'm just about to go off now because I have been waffly, waffly, waffly forever. Um, I take a lot of supplements, like to hear that's great, we'll do that, Unibene and vitamin C. Safe to a roll of lip fillers, yes, absolutely, go for it. I never seem to have a good um, facial exfoliator with a good grip, most face. Do try and try the um, uh, the skin facialist one. Um, recommend a retinol. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna do a whole thing on retinols with, again. Um, brow conditioning tips. Eyelash and brow conditioning tips on blog, please. Yes, I will, Paula. I love you, Andrea. Okay. All right, ladies, I'm going to go and, um, and have a lovely Sunday. And uh, I shall do a tiny bit of mascara as well today, just to get that look. There we go. It's 
So I know I've been waffly today, I apologise for my waffliness, but it's that kind of morning. And I hope you thought a bit about your body. And, you know, I think it's just, it's nice to highlight that we should consider what we do with the skin on our body. I'll have all the things tomorrow on the blog. I've now got to tidy all this up and go and see my mum and take her for lunch. And um, ladies, it's still January, dry January. I'm not shopping in Zara yet. I did have a look on the website yesterday thinking, am I missing anything? So I had a kind of mental relapse, but I'm still, if there was anything I'd say to get in the sales, it's got to be stuff that you've seen, I've talked about and I love, because I think when you're buying in the sales, really consider things you would have bought normally, that you would have bought perhaps at full price. Um, and if you've bought something already and you love it and you know it's in your wardrobe and it's the top you love, buy a second one in the sale because I think that once we get to a wardrobe that really wears, we wear as opposed to it wearing us, it's when we're, we've got clothes in it that, that are just fantastic pieces of a uniform that we tweak occasionally to make us feel really fashionable. But generally they are our... They are our, <clears throat> our lovely um, background to showing ourselves off the best way possible. So if there's a shirt that suits you and looks great, buy a second one. Um, have a lovely Sunday. Speak to you soon.